This strategic promise by the commander in chief later on culminated into a strategic directive. And from that strategic directive, that the security forces moved on to look for the attackers. In the last 24 hours, we decided to zero on the attackers. But for the last three weeks, we had, be, we had been surveilling them. Our surveillance was collaborated with our technical intelligence and human intelligence to come to what we have today. The shooters on the 1st June of General Katumba and subsequently killing his loved daughter and the driver have been got and they are the guy who shot and killed the daughter and the driver on the right side and side of the vehicle was called Master. Master is a nickname, but his real names are Hussein Wahab Lubwama. This is Hussein Wahab Lubwama. If you remember, in the footage that I gave you, the guy who was putting on the T-shirt, which was stripped, and moving with a gun, is this guy. When my team zeroed on Master, We got master. And he was trying to fight my forces. And we have put master out of action. For you will never spill the blood of the innocent Ugandans and get away with it. The second rider is called Kanabe. These terrorists use nicknames. But it is, after, it is our responsibility to synchronize and get their real names. The rider of Kanabe is called Mudinka. Mudinka is also a nickname. The real name of Mudinka. Mudinka at times is called by his sheikh as Mudinka. But master calls Mudinka Ogema. But the real names of Mudinka is Walusimbi Kamanda. This is Walusimbi Kamanda. We have this. He was the one riding Kanabe. They, this group shot Katumba from the left. If you reach the scene, you remember there was a narrow place on the scene. This one, I have him in custody now. The guy who took the gun after the shooting, you remember they came to Bukoto and they went towards Oryx. And they came up minus the gun was called 
Kagugube. This is Mohamed Kagugube. We have him as we talk now. We have also arrested another character called Amin. That they took the gun to his place. The gun was taken, ferried in a TV box, a 43, a 42 inch box. But later on, the gun was taken, rubbed in banana leaves to another home of somebody called Mukwas. The real names of Mukwas Because they always use names to disguise themselves with. As I talk now, we are continuing to break the cells of these attackers. The mastermind of all these attacks. And the cell in Kampala of ADF is Sheikh Obadia. He's on the run. He's the one who recruited all these people. He could either be here or in Eastern DRC. All these groups are linked to ADF, which are operating in Eastern DRC. As I told you, the operations is still continuing to bring to book the attackers, ensure and they're punished for their actions. The state organs will do all it takes to ensure that we protect the lives and the property of the people of Uganda. In the home of Amin, which is a scene of crime, we got materials for making bombs in the home of this guy. And all the formulas for making these bombs. This, we got it today in the morning. This is therefore to inform the public that no crime with impunity will go unpunished. I therefore urge the public to help the police and the security organs to uh, identify the bad guys outside there. Because security is a collective responsibility of every us, one of us. It's not only the, the work for the police or the security organs. It's a collective responsibility. To the bad guys outside there, you must know that there is no space to hide, and we shall always get you. I will also show you some of these footages, because I had never shared some of these footages with you. I know there are always doubting Thomas is there, and in particular members of the press asking questions. But I'll just show you some footages, but I will not show you all, because the rest is for my intelligence. It's not for you. I conclude that statement by saying, you know, in Matthew chapter, in Matthew chapter five, uh, five, verse nine, it is said, "Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God." That is to Christians. So I want now to collaborate what I've shown you to what we have. Even when these attackers were going. Only that we told you there were some lapses with our people who were looking at the cameras. We saw these people when they were going for the attack. The cameras got them. But this is after we went down and sat and started analyzing and looking at the pattern of movement. So I want to show you when these people were moving for the attack. Just bear with me.
You, keep po you can post it when you get there. Let's go. Push it to the media, just there, yeah, okay? Right. Okay. They need the socket? Can you allow us to plug it here? Yes. Is that okay for everybody? Yes. Seeing and it pulls it. Okay. Now, okay, go back. Go back a little bit. Okay. Go back. Okay. Let's see. Let's see a few there. No, no, go back. Okay. Okay, okay. That is master when he was going for the attack. Okay, next. Now, they have not yet reached the position they attacked Katumba. Now, this is, this is Modinka. He's carrying Kanabe. He has already gone ahead. That's the first right there. This is around eight. This is master. The second assassin. After the attack, this is master. What is carrying is an AK-47.
that is master. It's still rotating with that area of, of Bukoto. And it turns back. This is Modinka, and this one is Kanabe. This, I think, we gave you some time back. This is Master, and this. We suspect this could be a meal. They have come back. Now they are going towards Oryx, where Mudinka got the gun from and then took it to a location I'll tell you now. She is still going there. They have been moving in the general area. And when he came to Oryx around here is when he handed over the gun to Modinka. To, to Kagube. Uh, ka, ka, Gugube. Uh, Kagube somewhere here. He handed the gun to this guy. And this guy then took the gun the location where we got it from. Is there a boy? I think that's enough. So as I mentioned earlier on, ladies and gentlemen of the press, we had been following this for the last four weeks, operating 24-7 to ensure that justice is done, and also to ensure that the city is peaceful and our country is peaceful. These same attackers had recently been involved in other attacks in the city. We have collaborated the attack to the previous attacks that you had in the city, the killing of Kawesi, Major Kigundu, and even the robbery in town. There was that robbery in, a, in Nansana, in cheap hardware. This guy was the one who was involved. Mudinka. With Master. My heart is at peace now that justice has been done. 
Thank you very much. When was the shooting? You know, we are not going to open up completely and give you all because we are still continuing with our operations. But the guys that we took to sales, after our collaborations of technical intelligence and surveillance, they were in the planning cell of the assassination. But the people who executed it were these people I have given you. ADF operates in cells. I need to know about terrorism, which at times you do not research about them so much. It's their models of agenda, which you, you, you unfortunately don't research. One, they always use false names. Two, the people who are going to even execute a task is not supposed to be known by any other than the leader. You only meet at the scene of execution. That's how terrorism, terrorism operates. You will be recruited. You will not know members within the team. We are still breaking down the name of Kanabe. Just give me, I'll call you back and you'll, uh, we shall get him. Obadiah is a, the head, is a, is a, is a, is a cleric. Uh, Sheikh Obadiah is the head of uh, the Kampala cell of ADF. Efforts are going on to get it, don't worry. We, we arrested them from different areas. Others were arrested from Kikaya. Others, we arrested them from uh, uh, Kawanda. Others, we arrested them from Nansana. Others, we arrested them from Katoke. Can I go to some? Yes, my, 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 good, my good friend there. <laughs> no, it is just because of the of the ADF ADF uh, they, they are in the ADF fraternity. That's how it is. You'll never you'll never join that organization if you're not a Muslim. You can't. Even if you are a Christian, then they must convert you to be Muslim. Because if you are not a Muslim, then you are not a, you are a non believer. That's how it is. The guy was Yes. This guy was this guy was well trained in uh, martial arts, and he also trained in Eastern DRC. This Mukwas, even on his passport, now I'm giving you too many information. This Mukwas, even on his passport, went to Tanzania, Kenya, and Mozambique. It's from Ginger, this one. Yeah. One gun, one gun collaborates to the killing of Kawesi and Kigundu. The forensics are still analyzing it. But we still need these guns. After we have already got all these guns, we shall then collaborate it. Shall our, 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 our technical team will look at it into detail to collaborate it. But uh, much of the information we have is, uh, is that all of them believe they, they were involved in the attack. I, I think on many times we have told you that ADF is in Eastern DRC. I, I think that's open knowledge, open information. We know that ADF operates from Eastern DRC. That's where they have their training comes. And of course, when you get, when you get uh, some of these substances that I've shown you, that we got from the house of Amin, it should worry you that these people are, are good at making explosives. When you are looking at some of these issues, don't look at it in isolation. Look at it from the bigger picture.
And this, this is the literature for making these bombs. If somebody can read in Arabic for me, I don't understand Arabic. My Arabic is very poor. <laughs> this one is in English, but this one is in Arabic. No, for this one, we have realized this was just an organized crime group. That is our findings as the security forces. You remember very well that Kigundu had just come back from... Uh, you see, this is simple logic. That's why at times I, 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 I begin to question your media, media, media thinking and capacity to analyze certain issues. Who was Kigundu? And if it was if it was you, would you would, would, would don't you think if it, yes, that means he, he, he is somebody who has sold you off. So he be, he becomes a target. General Katumba, you must know that General Katumba was even an IGP one time. He was a CDF one time. He operated in Eastern DRC. Okay, he's a minister of 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 of, of, of works. See, you need to look at that. Kawesi, you must know that Kawesi also handled the cells of ADF in in, in Kampala. John, John was taking ADF to court. I thought I was dealing with good minds. <laughs> Eh? Oh, my, my friend wrote about it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I have got to go because I'm so operational. I have a lot of work to do. I must get down on the, uh, on the ground to accomplish this task. Otherwise, I thank you very much and my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hand you now over to Mr. Enanga.